Starting out today, I wanted to show my viewers just what Solar Maximum really looks like. With the LASC OC2 and C3 clips from the year 2000. LASC OC2, filter. June 5th through June 12th. When the largest solar flare occurs, you will see a burst of solar particles. Oddly, this frame from the clip has an alien face in it. Just pareidolia, I'm sure. Up next, same timestamp. Using the LASC OC2 and C3, filter. These last two clips from the year, 2000, show solar maximum at its peak. Here is the latest LASC OC2 filter, showing the last solar flare that occurred today. Using the difference filter, the flare is seen much better. I'll loop it once for better observation. On the LASC OC3 filter, the flare is seen expanding out through space. Within the last 24 hours, there has been one B, class flare, and the rest are A, class. On this HMI intensity gram chart, there are two sunspot regions, on the Earth-facing side of the Sun. Region 2857 has one sunspot. And at the bottom of the chart, are seen the percentage of the flare size possibilities. Region 2858, had four sunspots, but has decreased by two. While the region area size has increased. There are two coronal holes on the Sun at this time. Using the SDO211 filter, the coronal holes can be observed. Here are the position of the planets today. We are in the beginning of the solar maximum cycle, so solar activity will increase. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.